and we're going to select a vertical model for this example. And again, I'm going to select finish here and we can get back to that wizard box by selecting it from here when we're ready to do so. So as you can see, we have a pretty good match of the early TAM data, but near the end we start to drop off and it starts to get pretty bad. So the initial estimates that we got for our permeability, skin, and reservoir pressure were automatically imported into our model. Um, the reservoir size for a gas well defaults to one section spacing or one mile by one mile. And we learned from our analysis that it looks like we run into a channel at about 2,400 feet width and about 1,200 feet away from the wellbore itself. So let's put some of that information into our model. So by clicking off these boundaries, we can make our channel. And our channel width, our initial estimate was about 2,400 feet with our wellbore about midway between the channel. So let's leave that and see how that affects our derivative. And as you can see, now we've got a shape that looks much more like what we're expecting to see from our data. Now that we've got our model kind of close, we can do an automatic parameter estimation match by selecting the parameters we wish to change by clicking these little boxes here. So we're going to change our permeability, our skin, our wellbore storage constant, the channel width, and the position of the wellbore between the channel. And we'll click the Auto button. So now that looks like a pretty good match. And you can see our initial estimates for our channel width and the position of the well bar were pretty close, but all of our parameters needed a little bit of adjustment. So now that we've got a model that we're happy with, we can use this model to do some forecasting. So for example, in the current configuration, we can do a 60-month forecast and set a bottom hole flowing pressure of 500 PSI. And we can get a forecast of the rate decline and the cumulative production that we expect to see. We can also add additional cases, for example, if we were to stimulate the well. So now we have a rate decline and cumulative production forecast for both the stimulated and unstimulated case. So you can see how valuable the information can be using the forecast option here in WellTest.